This week at Galactic Army, we're turning up the heat with a 3D printed sword. Oh yeah, and it also shoots flames. Sick. Good. Oh my god! Okay, Jamie, I have something to show you. Uh, not the whiteboard again. Last time you had this out, I was working on a chain sword for a month. What now? And swords are really cool, but what's the one way to make swords cooler? Actual metal. No, you light them on fire. What? Yes. This is kind of a design build challenge for us. I want to integrate fire with 3D prints. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't, and it's going to make even less sense when I explain it all. There's a few tenets to the design build that I want to integrate. Uh, the first, no hose. I want the gas and the fuel system totally self-contained within the hilt. Within your hands. Got yes. it. Yes. No, stop. You know, no tube to a backpack feeding gas or whatever mm, to terrible it. Terrible idea. Continue. It is all in my hands. Uh, I want the, the flames out of the blade to be at least four inches. Aaron, that is double the national average for a flame. So, so we're told. <laughs> I want the flames to last 10 seconds. That's a big ass. Also double the national average, so we're told. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I want the blade to be made out of PLA. The worst material possible in 3D printing yes. for fire. PLA has a terrible heat resistance, uh, but it makes it interesting, a nice challenge for us. Uh, yeah, why? Because it makes it a nice challenge. And, you know, we'll have to find a, a way to protect it or, you know, okay. shield it from the heat. Right, okay, so you're making an issue and solving the issue, but you yes, made the issue yes, in the first yes. place. <laughs> we Understood. Are, we I, are the issue. Just so we're along the same page. I love making issues, but yeah. This kind of unlocks kind of a tech tree for us of integrating fire with okay. 3D prints. Okay. You know, it sets off alarms in people's heads of yes. like, those two obviously don't mix. Rightfully so. Well, I want to mix them, Jamie. Oh, he's going <laughs> mad. So let me get this straight, Aaron. You just hired wrong just so you can make progressively more dangerous items in this extremely flammable workshop. Ron being no stranger to flamethrowers, he's the perfect person for this job. Okay, Ron, you're kind of our resident fire expert. You made the Halo 3 flamethrower for us back in the day, but today I have a new project for you. I want to make a 3D printed flaming sword. How would you do that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, <laughs> first I would try to contain, uh, you know, our fuel source. So I'm thinking we can run some propane. So we just have a vessel to contain the propane. We'd have a way to charge it up and then we'd have a way to release it so we can uh, use a nice little push button valve. Mm -hmm. And then we can feed the gas into the sword and basically uh, channel off the gas into multiple spots mm -hmm. so that we can get a nice even distributed uh, flame throughout. And so we can put a, you know, a, a little ignition system here and then that can light. The or, flame as, yeah. as the gas comes out the blade? Yep. That's easy, right? Let's make a prototype. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This first prototype is going to be really simple. It's basically a copper housing that allows us to fill gaseous propane and release it with a push button valve. Okay, this is a flaming sword prototype. Test number one. Test number two. If we blow up, uh, publish this video. Very, very smart right here, very smart. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I told you it was just gonna pop. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna it? pop yeah. like that. Yeah, I felt that in my chest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does anybody wanna give it, you wanna give it a go? Hell no. no. I'm not touching that thing yet. Not yet, no. So the hilt works. Um, it uh, holds pressure and everything like that. So now we're going to design a uh, 3D printed sword to channel the gas through it, slow down the reaction, and see where it goes. So we've got uh, one of the early prototypes of the sword here. It's still super early, but we're testing the flow of the gas, the seal of the prints. Uh, we're gonna find out exactly how well this idea is gonna work. <laughs> this is Galactic Arm right here. <laughs> All right. So we just had our test. We weren't kind of getting the expansion that we wanted. Uh, we tried putting duct tapes on the sides to get the gas to travel further along the blade, spread out that fire. That didn't help too much. We're just going to redesign the sword uh, cut it in half so that we don't have these overhangs that are potentially blocking gas from coming through, and then we'll uh, give another test. I think you lit that a little early. Hey! We're thinking about moving over to a push button valve with a 3D printer nozzle setup. Uh, the main goal is to make the device aesthetic, not have to rely on a needle valve to control flow, 
and have the flow be controlled entirely by these nozzles so that you can just push the push button valve, have the gases come through, and have a nice consistent burn. So we start at the bottom because the heat is going to rise up to the top. So I'm heating the pipe and then I'm going to heat the fitting, get them both pretty warm. Carry that heat. It's all in. Got a good joint on there. And we'll clean it up, make sure there's no, no holes, no nothing. Now this is not a solder or sweat fitting, but we're going to do it anyway because we want to maximize space here, so I'm just going to do it anyway. That is it. That is it. This is a water test? This is a gas test. I'm pretty sure it's going to hold. <laughs> There we go. Let's see. <laughs> make it come out a lot slower. Yeah. <laughs> a lot less. Ooh, that was a hundred. That was a hundred pounds. Over the next week, the team changes gears to a butane system instead of the gaseous propane for its ease of use, which is a great test for a Mando flamethrower, but not quite our flame sword. So instead, Ron has decided to switch to liquid propane. So to make the change to liquid propane possible, we will be modifying the hill design so that it can accept uh, liquid propane from a twenty-pound tank. Uh, so we'll be soldering that up, doing our testing, and we'll see how it goes. Still got the leak. Let's go up. Okay, 300. All right, we've got our leak here. But our joints are fine. Your boy soldered all right. <laughs> so, are you gonna put that in the video or no? We have a newly designed hilt, a new blade, and a lot of aluminum tape. Ron's flame sword Mark IV is ready to test. Right. And the results? are absolutely explosive. The valve is stuck. There's nothing I can do. But that was a lot more than whatever I'm going to turn. Well, whatever wasn't covered by aluminum got melted. What are we going to do to make it not do that? I did all the right things and it worked too well. <laughs> so, okay. so because I cooled down the tank to fill it with gas, uh -huh. and then I had the, the tank that we're filling from, I heated it up and put it in the sun. Okay. And the hose was also cooled. So when I went to fill it up, I filled it up thinking it was just going to be like the last few times I filled it up, but it, it wasn't. It filled, it pretty much I just shot a bunch of liquid That's into cool. it. Okay. And I knew I had, had a lot of liquid because when I opened up the hose to let the pressure out, it was just all liquid spraying out. So I was like, well, we're gonna have a lot. Then I took it into the, the room and heated it up a little bit with some water. And then it started hissing and leaking. And I vented off like a, a substantial amount before we even tested it. And it still had uh, uh, enough pressure. So then I went, we, we went for it, but I think that was like 300 pounds. I don't think that was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Look how good this uh, aluminum tape does at protecting the PLA. So you can see, all bubbled, melted, all uh, destroyed. And if I peel off some of this tape, that print underneath is just pristine. And that is just regular old PLA underneath. And this tape, it's expensive. It's like $11 a roll for just a little, little bit of tape, but look at how good that is. Yeah, more of this, please. <laughs> After some final tweaks, and yes, another sword, Ron has perfected the flame sword design. There it is. Ron is looking amazing. <laughs> but this has gone through like a month of R&D to get where we're at now, right? Yep. So we've been working on this for about a month. We've gone from gaseous propane to butane. 
and now we finally capped off at liquid propane. The entire system is uh, pretty much uh, self-contained. Uh -huh. We have uh, a custom little ignition system here, and uh, we can store a good amount of uh, propane and keep the pressure going and generate some nice flames. Yeah, and the blade like holds together. Like yep. this is the, this yeah. is the final design, right? Yep. <laughs> well then, in that case, I think there's only one thing left to do. Get all the safety equipment that we have in this building. Try it on. <laughs> try it out without a second thought to people's safety, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the one holding it. Good. Fine. That's on Let you. Let me get one last look at my arm hair. <laughs> <laughs> my eyebrows. Oh, let's get this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Jamie, are you ready? No, no, hold on. Okay. <laughs> now we're ready? Okay, now we're ready? <laughs> Continue. Okay, test number God. one. God. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, she angry. All right, give me. Ah! There you go. <laughs> ah. Damn! Got an idea. <laughs> we should kiss. No. <laughs> give it a little juice. Hey. <laughs> I'm one with the flame. Oh, it's working! Damn! <laughs> Chocolate? Yes, please. Of course you do. All right, open wide, big guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> <That'd be weird. laughs> it's got multi use. Tastes like propane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't it. don't smear it in, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh, they got my arm there. Okay, let's. <laughs> <laughs> good? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. We're gonna let someone who actually knows what they're doing with swords uh, have a go. I'm not afraid of fire. You shouldn't be. No. Wait, 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 wait. No, hey, hey. <laughs> well, Ron, that was an amazing build. Well done. You really took just some stupid idea that we had at lunch to an actual working prototype. Very nice. Jamie, you are wrong. Fire is cool. I am wrong. Yeah, <laughs> get him. <laughs> uh, but this kind of opens the door to a lot of other projects for us. We, we call it unlocking the tech tree mm -hmm. of fire, uh, so to speak. So this should open the doors for a lot more projects. With gaseous propane, we can make the melted gun. With butane, we can uh, make Mando's flamethrower. We can uh, make any kind of fire weapon you want now. Blades of Chaos. Blades of Chaos. Oh, that'd, that'd be good. That's what we talked about. Like the shish kebab from Fallout. Make it janky as hell. Yeah, yeah. the like 10 foot tall Emperor's oh, sword God. from uh, Warhammer. A lot of propane. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff we can make uh, from this one prototype. We figured out what works, what doesn't work, what might work in some cases, yep. what might work in others. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, but we've unlocked the tech tree of fire. 6,000 years again. Uh, or, <laughs> right here, we uh, did it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we did it again. If you like dumb videos like this where we like take a concept and try and push it to the boundaries of 3D printing and our prop making abilities mm -hmm. here, uh, be sure and check out links in the description to support us. Check out our Patreon where we do a lot of different 3D files. Uh, probably not going to release these 3D files because we no. don't want you to hurt yourself. Please don't. Please don't. We'll, it's deceptively simple. We'll, we'll, think of, <laughs> yeah, we'll think about it. But anyways, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. And Ron, remember, stay galactic. <laughs> <laughs> Do not recruit him into this <laughs> chicanery. The, the cult. <laughs> I'd like the flames to be at least four inches uh, out from the blade. But that's double the average. <laughs> <laughs> That's so how you're told, right? So you're told. Like, <laughs> that's what the internet says. Huh? Uh.